vast tunnel under an ancient Egyptian temple that may lead to Cleopatra's lost tomb. Terrifying discovery at Cleopatra's tomb in Egypt that changes history. As the archaeologists ventured deeper into the dark and musty chambers of Cleopatra's tomb, their excitement turned to unease. The air grew colder, and an eerie silence settled over the ancient burial site. But nothing could have prepared them for what they were about to uncover. Let's take a look at what has been discovered and how it can change history. Egyptologist and former Minister of State for Antiquities Affairs of Egypt, Zahi Hawass, made a statement that locating Cleopatra's and Mark Antony's tomb would be the most important discovery of the 21st century. This discovery, in my opinion, is the most important discovery on the 21st century. A similar finding to that of King Tut's tomb might keep archaeologists, historians, and researchers busy for years to come, while also providing insight into the nature of funerary temples and ancient civilizations. King Tut's tomb was discovered in 1922. In addition, it is possible that long-standing concerns regarding the Queen herself, especially the nature of her passing, may eventually be resolved. Between the years 51 and 30 BC, Cleopatra VII reigned as Queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. She is best remembered for her relationship with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. It is possible that the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra can be reached through a tunnel that was discovered beneath the ancient Taposiris Magna Temple in Egypt. The tunnel was dug through several layers of granite. The tunnel, which is being hailed as a geometric miracle, spans for more than 4,800 feet, is approximately 6 feet high, and is claimed to resemble the tunnel of Eupolinos on the Greek island of Samos, which is renowned as one of the most significant engineering feats of the classical world. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist at the University of San Domingo, has been certain for more than a decade that Egypt's last pharaoh, Cleopatra, and her lover Mark Antony were laid to rest within the temple, and she's certain that the tunnel could be the key to discovering this fact. Near the city of Alexandria in Egypt, which was formerly the nation's capital, is where you'll find the Tap Osiris Magna Temple. The name of this ancient structure translates to Great Tomb of Osiris. According to Martinez, there is a strong likelihood that the queen is buried there, and if she is, unearthing the remains of Egypt's last pharaoh would be the most important discovery of the 21st century. Martinez said the following to Heritage Key, If there's a 1% chance that the last queen of Egypt could be buried there, it's my obligation to hunt for her. At the depth of 23 meters, we found two skeletons. This is the first time that any archaeologist has found tunnels and passages underground and inside the enclosure walls of the temple, so we have changed forever what they know about the architecture. The archaeologist has come to the conclusion that Cleopatra, when Mark Antony committed suicide as a result of his loss to Caesar Augustus, also known as Octavian, the archaeologist believes that Cleopatra made extensive arrangements for them both to be buried there, which parallels the tale. Martinez, who has been employed at the Temple of Taposiris Magna for more than 15 years, was quoted in National Geographic as saying in the past that Cleopatra negotiated with Octavian to allow her to bury Mark Antony in Egypt. She wanted to be buried with him because she wanted to reenact the legend of Isis and Osiris. The true meaning of the cult of Osiris is that it grants immortality, said the ancient Egyptians. After their deaths, the gods would permit Cleopatra to live with Antony in another form of existence so that they may have eternal life together. After the discovery of the tunnel carved in rock that is situated approximately 43 feet below the temple, Martinez may have found herself on the right path. Teams that were working at the location discovered a section of the tunnel that was buried beneath the surface of the Mediterranean Sea. Additionally, a number of ceramic jars and pottery tractors were discovered buried below the mud silt, in addition to a rectangular block of limestone and a blind finish. The team of researchers also believes that the foundation of the Taposiris Magna Temple may also be submerged in water as a result of at least 23 earthquakes that struck the Egyptian shore between the years 320 AD and 1303 AD. Martina has also discovered a number of significant items within the temple, such as coins with the portraits and names of both Queen Cleopatra and Alexander the Great, as well as a number of headless statues and statues of the goddess Isis. 
Two years ago, the team announced that they had found two mummies belonging to two high-status ancient Egyptians. One of the corpses belonged to a male and the other to a female. The mummies, which had to lay undisturbed for 2,000 years, are in a terrible condition of preservation because water had leaked into the tomb. However, they were initially wrapped with gold leaf, a luxury that was reserved for only the highest members of society's elite, implying that they intimately interacted with Cleopatra. Cleopatra was the last of a long series of Ptolemaic rulers of Egypt. These kings were derived from the Greek general Alexander the Great. Cleopatra is generally referred to as the first celebrity in the world. She began her reign in 51 BC and continued it until 30 BC, the year she passed away. After the death of her father, Ptolemy XII, Cleopatra was elevated to the position of Cleopatra VII, Queen of Egypt. At the same time, her brother, Ptolemy XIII, was elevated to the position of king. Under the guise of the official title of husband and wife, the siblings governed Egypt. In addition to working hard to connect herself and Antony with the myth of Isis and Osiris, she did this because she wanted the Egyptian people to view her and Antony as the rightful rulers of Egypt. Cleopatra was also proclaimed the daughter of Re, the Egyptian sun god, in order to acquire support among the Egyptian ancient people. This was done so that Cleopatra could rule Egypt as well. Cleopatra was known during her life, which spanned from 69 BC to 30 BC, as both a seductress and a charming personality. Elizabeth Taylor portrayed Cleopatra in the film Cleopatra, which was released in 1963. She is famed for using her charms to first attract Julius Caesar in order to firmly establish Egypt's alliance with Rome, and then she used her charms to seduce Mark Antony, who was Caesar's second-in-command. However, in order to reconcile a troubled alliance with Octavia's brother, the King Octavian, Antony married another woman whose name was Octavia. According to the History Channel, Antony eventually divorced his new wife for Cleopatra, and the two lovers eventually married, despite the fact that a Roman law prohibited Romans from marrying people from other nations. After this, Octavian declared war on Cleopatra and Antony, which ultimately led to their loss. The subsequent absence of Cleopatra led to the widespread speculation that she had committed suicide by locking herself inside the mausoleum that she had built specifically for herself. Antony believed that his queen had committed suicide, which led him to fatally stab himself. Cleopatra was the one who held Antony as he passed away in her arms. It is said that Cleopatra committed suicide not long after the death of her beloved from his wounds. The method of her demise, which has been the subject of some disagreement, is that she allowed a deadly snake to bite her. According to historical records, on August 12, 30 BC, the queen committed suicide by eating a snake that had been concealed inside a basket of figs that had been brought in from the countryside. The snake was also responsible for the deaths of two of the queen's servants. However, academics have refuted the common belief, claiming that venomous snakes in Egypt, such as cobras and vipers, would have been too enormous to have slithered their way undetected into the palace. Octavian traveled back to Italy, and there he established himself as the first emperor of Rome. Meanwhile, Cleopatra and Antony were laid to rest in Egypt, and it's possible that the recently uncovered tunnel leads to their tomb somewhere along its length. The notion that Cleopatra and Antony were buried at Taposiris Magna Temple, on the other hand, has been met with a certain amount of skepticism. Other authorities are of the opinion that Cleopatra was swiftly buried in the city of Alexandria itself, the city from which she controlled Egypt until the year 30 BC, when she passed away at the young age of 39. Others believe that the fact that Cleopatra and Antony made significant efforts to link themselves with the myth of Isis and Osiris demonstrates that the Taposiris Magna Temple was significant to both their lives and deaths. The story of Osiris and Isis states that Osiris was murdered and that his body was dismembered into several pieces which were then dispersed over Egypt. Isis was successful in temporarily resurrecting her spouse after she assembled all of the missing parts and put them back together again. Due to the fact that Type Osiris Magna's name literally translates to Tomb of Osiris, Martinez is of the opinion that the city was closely tied with the tale. It's possible that this was one of the locations where the body was dispersed throughout the story. A lecturer in ancient history at the University of Bristol's Department of Classics and Ancient History named Mikan Mosleth King believes that burying Cleopatra and Antony and Tap Osiris Magna would have been a powerful political and religious statement. According to statements made by King, the Ptolemy styled themselves as traditional Egyptian pharaohs and displayed their royal power and close relationships with the Egyptian gods by building magnificent temples all over Egypt. 
Cleopatra VII, during her reign as queen of the Ptolemaic dynasty, was sometimes portrayed as the goddess Isis on the walls of temples. In order to solidify their position as gods on Earth, Cleopatra and Antony presented themselves to the public as Isis and Osiris, respectively. The Great Temple at Tap Osiris Magna had been revered for millennia as one of the burial sites of Osiris, whose body was dismembered and scattered by his brother Seth, the inscription reads. If Cleopatra and Antony had been laid to rest in this temple, it would have sent a strong political and theological message, likening the assassination of Antony to the killing of Osiris. For all of the time to see, this would have cast Cleopatra into the role of Isis, the dutiful wife who mourned her husband's death, and it would have communicated to the Egyptian populace that the godlike authority of the pharaohs was immune to the cruelty of the Romans, which would have been a reassuring message. According to reports, the tunnels contained thousands of riches, including dozens of coins portraying the visages of Alexander the Great and Cleopatra. A bust depicting the late queen as one of the numerous riches that were found, along with statues made of alabaster from the Ptolemaic period, clay pots, and a variety of other Greco-Roman artifacts. That's all for today's video. We'll be back with more soon. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.